Ontario Power Generation, or OPG, is an Ontario-based electricity generating company owned by the people of Ontario. OPG provides about half of the province's electricity, with the bulk of that power coming from hydroelectric and nuclear plants. Nuclear waste is a byproduct of nuclear power generation and consists of low, intermediate, and high-level waste, otherwise known as used nuclear fuel. Low and intermediate level waste from the Pickering, Darlington and Bruce nuclear generating stations has been safely managed on an interim basis at OPG's Western Waste Management Facility in Bruce County for about 40 years in a manner that meets and exceeds all regulatory requirements. Now, with the support of the municipality of Kincardine, OPG is proposing to construct a long-term management facility called the Deep Geologic Repository, or DGR, for low and intermediate level nuclear waste. The DGR will be constructed adjacent to the Western Waste Management Facility at the Bruce Nuclear Site in Kincardine, Ontario. OPG's DGR will only accommodate low and intermediate level waste from OPG-owned or operated generating facilities. Used nuclear fuel will not be managed in the DGR. OPG's proposed DGR, if approved, will be located at about 680 meters or 2,230 feet beneath OPG-owned lands at the Bruce Nuclear Site. At this depth, the repository is deeper than the CN Tower is tall. Similar to a mine, the DGR would have two vertical shafts with ancillary rooms at their base for offices, amenities and services. The main shaft would have a finished diameter of 6.5 meters and would be utilized for personnel working in the repository. Waste packages would be moved to the repository level from the main shaft, which would also deliver fresh ventilation air to the subsurface. The second smaller ventilation shaft with a finished diameter of 5 meters would exhaust ventilation air and provide secondary access to the surface in the event of an emergency. Two panels of emplacement rooms parallel to each other would safely manage about 200,000 cubic meters of packaged waste. This represents all of the low and intermediate level waste generated by OPG's 20 reactors during their life cycle, as well as refurbishment waste. Inside the waste package receiving building, waste packages would be loaded by forklift onto a self-propelled electric rail cart. They would then be moved into a waste handling cage for the descent to the repository level. Once underground, the waste packages would be unloaded from the rail cart by a forklift to be stacked in storage emplacement rooms. Some of the heavier packages would remain on the rail cart until the cart arrives at the emplacement room, where they would be offloaded by a gantry crane. Storage emplacement rooms would have a concrete floor to facilitate waste handling, but the supported natural rock walls and ceiling may have a thin layer of shotcrete. More than four years worth of studies, investigations and analyses were undertaken by OPG beginning in 2006 in support of the Environmental Assessment or EA process for the DGR. The results of the EA conclude that the proposed DGR is not likely to result in any significant adverse effects on the environment or the public. OPG submitted the DGR Environmental Impact Statement and a preliminary safety report for the DGR project to federal authorities in 2011. A decision on whether or not the project will proceed will be made by the federal government after they receive the Joint Review Panel's final report. For more information about the DGR and to view the submission documents, please visit www.opg.com slash DGR or www.ceaa-acee.gc.ca
www.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca.ca